Today I want I wanted to show you how to uh, map a drive, map a folder for the SharePoint drive on the computer. Normally, I have already installed the OneDrive on the computer, and I have already set up OneDrive to the user's OneDrive. So you see the one drop is in sync. I log in as uh, Joseph Lee and I can access the SharePoint. And uh, you see the SharePoint, uh, I can, when I access SharePoint the side, I click this our SharePoint side and then if I click documents, there are three folders created in this documents folder and then if on my OneDrive I see we have created a shortcut for HR in the SharePoint documents to the OneDrive so now I want to create a folder for this uh, documents in the SharePoint to my computer on my computer so how can I do this so let me go to the Documents. So first thing, we go to the site. The SharePoint site. And. And then we click documents. Documents including the folders you know created in the documents. So what I wanted to do is I want to click sync. So click yes always allow. And uh, I get an error message that says, sorry, we can't sync this folder. You are already syncing a shortcut to a folder from this shared library. So I close this one. This happens because I have created a shortcut for the folder, you know, before in my OneDrive. What I want to do is I want to remove this one. Remove your card. So after I remove the shortcut, I go to the SharePoint side again. I try again. So it says you can close this dialog because this is syncing in the background. So I close it now. And now what I want to do is I go to the folder. Normally I want to go to this computer and I want to go to C drive users and I look at Joseph D, I go to Joseph D and I see this uh you know this is my SharePoint site CCQ trying Two zero two zero. I just uh, open this one, and uh, you see the communication side documents folder is created. And now I can use this one, and all the folders in the SharePoint side has been synchronized to the local folder on the, you know, on my computer now. So if I go to engineering, I can see all the files, and it's already synchronized to the cloud. So after I click this one, if I go to the quick access, I can see this, you know, the SharePoint site is already showing here. So I also I can go there, go to this documents, and then I can go to engineering, and go to the other folder, this other is empty. So I can access any files from my computer. After I change the thing, if I, for example, if I change this one,
just put something here as close save now we want to go back to SharePoint HR and then I open the file again so it's still asynchronous, not asynchronized back yet So it says it's updated about modified one minute ago. If I open again, it should be updated. Again. So you see, I put something in the file and then it will synchronize back to the uh, SharePoint site. I can see the file is updated. Yep, that's all from me now.